I'm going to show you how to use the pivot table operation in Excel uh, to make free, uh, to make cross tabulations. We have data for 40 uh, from 40 observations. Uh, so observations are coded as 1 through 40. Occupations, several occupations are listed, and then satisfaction score of each individual is listed. Let's assume these are satisfaction scores with their job. Go to Insert, Pivot Table, for uh, Input Range. If you click on this symbol, you can highlight the entire table. Make sure uh, that the column headings are included. So cells A1, B1, and C1 are in there. If you click that again, uh, you've inputted your range. Um, and let's go ahead and use an exist this existing worksheet um, to put our uh, results in. I will go ahead and for the location of the report, I will go ahead and select this cell. You can either select that cell or an entire range of cells. Um, at this point say OK. Uh, Excel will create this um, information for you to work from. Uh, this table right here shows you the results of what you will do. We have three variables in this problem. I'm going to check all of them because I want all of them to be included in my or be used in my uh, cross tabulation. If you're working with a data set that has many, many variables, you, uh, all of them will be listed here, but you must only select the ones or check off the ones that you want included in your report. Over here, it says drag fields between areas below. As it is, we can see that the occupations are listed in rows. And over here, it says row labels, occupation is listed under it. But for, under values, where we have two quantitative variables, observation, which has numerical data, and satisfaction score, which has numerical data, we can see both of those listed under the values column. I want my satisfa the satisfaction scores to be my column uh, variables. So I'm going to click on that and drag it and drop it in here so that now my um, pivot table or my cross tabulation table shows the satisfaction scores from this data set across the top or showing up in columns. Now notice that this is too long of a um, of a cross tabulation. The maximum satisfaction score in our range was 86. <clears throat> the minimum is 38. And this is just too big or too wide for me to work with. So what I want to do is group these. Generally, this is the case when you have a quantitative variable that you want to include in a uh, cross tabulation. What you need to do is to take that quantitative variable and you need to um, uh, make that uh, into a classification variable. Before we do that, let's take a look here. Do you see over here it says lawyer and then there is a number 5 and it has a satisfaction score of 38. Well, that's really this observation right here. Uh, observation number five was a lawyer, and he, had a, he or she has a satisfaction score of 38. So that's what that five is. Now, we don't want the, um, um, summation, summa, the observations or the summations of the observations here. Uh, what we want is counts here. So what I need to do is <clears throat> go over here where it says sum of observations. Actually, uh, let's go ahead and um, we want, what we want is count of observations. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on this arrow and select value field settings. And where it says sum, I'm going to change that to count and click OK. And now this one shows you that there is one lawyer in this group of 40 that had a satisfaction score of 38. And there were two lawyers who had satisfaction scores of 42. Now again, if you continue, this table again is too big and too wide. And we do this, we do summaries so that we can summarize the data and we can make heads or tails 
of the data and turn it into information. With this um, being so long of a table, this is not useful. So what we're going to do is go to Satisfaction Score, uh, point the mouse, and right click, and group the data. Now, as it is, the data is ungrouped. But we need to group the data, and when you group, group it, you get this grouping window. It says starting at, ending at. And uh, the minimum and the maximum are reported here. The minimum of our range uh, of values was 38. The maximum is 86. So Excel already recognizes that. And then it gives a suggestion. How about grouping data by 10, groups uh, by uh, um, increments of 10? You can change that to be 5 and click OK. And now you can see that 38 through 42 are grouped together. So there are three lawyers who had satisfaction scores between 38 to 42. And there are um, two physical therapists who had satisfaction scores between 53 and, 50, and 57. So um, um, that's, let's say this is still too wide because look how long the table is. Okay, it's still not very effective in interpretation of it. So I can still go ahead and right click again and group again. And now instead of 5, I'm going to make uh, my increments to be 15. And when I do that, now I get this um, um, cross tabulation. So um, notice that there are 10 cabinet makers, 10 lawyers, 10 physical therapists, and 10 uh, systems analysts in this uh, group. <clears throat> if I want to change the entries within the table, instead of being counts to be percentages, <clears throat> which I highly recommend, because when you are interpreting um, cross tabulations, it's better to have everything uh, reported as, as a percentage um, out of 100% total. Uh, across the fields so that you will have an apples to apples comparison. So let's say I want to take all of this and instead of counts I want it to be reported as percentage of row. So you can, to do that, you can come over here and say instead of count of observations, right click, go to summarize data by, go to more options, and already it, um, the field is um, reported as counts, but you want to show the value as, and go to the drop down arrow, as a percentage of row. And click OK. And now everything in here is a percentage. Um, since th there are so many decimals, I'm going to highlight the whole thing right click on that that entire um, range and go to format cells I can see that data is reported as a percentage but I want to get rid of the decimals so I'm gonna make that zero and click OK and now everything is much better for my eyes to look at now notice um, cabinet makers um, there's 40% uh, of them uh, that um, have a satisfaction score between 68 to 82, but only 10% of the lawyers have that satisfaction score. So when you um, uh, <clears throat> report these percentages by row, you're essentially making your uh, comparisons a little easier and apples to apples. Or for example, you can say over here that uh, of all the cabinet makers, um, forty <clears throat> percent. Um, I'm sorry, uh, fifty percent uh, are um, uh, have um, satisfaction score between fifty-three to sixty-seven. Um, but and the same can be said for physical therapists and for systems analysts. But only twenty percent of the lawyers have that satisfaction score. So essentially, uh, you can um, report the analysis as you um, deem fit. Now. I can go back over here, right click, summarize, more options, show value as, and I can now report this as a percentage of column. And if I click OK, now you see that all the column totals are 100%, so that all of these numbers, the counts that I earlier had in here, 
are divided by the column total to report these percentages so that my column total is a percentage, percentage across all the columns. Thank you.